My guest Nicole just turned 40 and made two promises to herself. One, to work on her own personal goals, and two, to catch her husband cheating. Nicole says she bought a journal to track her husband's behavior, writing down his every move. It's been three months now, and what Nicole discovered was shocking enough for her to reach out and ask for my help to unlock Tank's phone. Everyone, please welcome Nicole to the show. So when I turned 40, I had a journal that I made personally for my accomplishments and my goals. Yes. And three months in, I noticed Tank start to move differently. He started hiding his phone, going in the bathroom for like three hours. Who goes in the bathroom for three hours, first of all? Then I would confront him. He'd be like, oh, you're insecure, you're this, you're that. Like, I'm not tripping. So you brought a couple of passages from your journal that you wanted yes, to see. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's take a look at the first one. 221, uh, 23, came back home late. Yes, he came home late. I confronted him. He said he was at the gym once again. He had a, a training session. 3, 1, 23, 4 a.m. He left home at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yes. 2:28, 5:07 a.m. Yes. Do you believe that he went to work? No, early? I know he didn't. Like he's lying. Mm -hmm. I went through his phone, saw deleted histories, um, him going on chat line, hooking up with females. He claims that he didn't. And you told my producer that he comes home smelling like sex? Only a female would know. Like, I can't lie. I she can't said, make this she up. She said only females know what, because I don't know what yeah. the sex smell like. Y'all know what it, it's funny, all the females in here like, yes, yes, yes I know what it smell yes, like. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, so, so how long exactly have you been journaling to track Tank's behavior? For three months. Three months. So what is the chat line? So he's talking to other people? Yes. Okay. Mm. But he claimed he just go in there because he'd be bored and he want to look at other women. I'm your wife, not your girlfriend. Why do you want to look at other women? Yeah. And when you try to confront Tank, what happens? He shuts me down every time. He shuts mm -hmm. me down. I'm delusional. I'm insecure. I'm living back in the past. How long have you been together exactly? Since I was 17 and I'm 40. Mm. So this is years. Yes, years. years. And he's a serial cheater. Yes. So when did the cheating start? It started 2001 after I had my first kid. Okay. How many children do you two have? I have six. If I find something in the phone, are you staying? No, I'm leaving. He can take those bags and get the going. I don't care where you're going, but get the hell out of here. Like, get out. Got it. I'm done. How old is your oldest kid? 21. 21, and yes. how old is the youngest? The youngest is seven. Seven years old? Yes. Does the, the youngest see what's going on between you two? Yeah, he saw a lot that he shouldn't be seeing. Like, yeah. he still remembers stuff that he shouldn't when he was four. Mm. Yeah. Like, and that hurts. Like, I was driving, and this one incident that happened between me and him, he said, Mom, is men supposed to hit women? I act like I ain't hear it, but I heard it. I, I, I heard it, yeah, it, it broke my heart. And I told my husband, he was so nonchalant about it. Your seven-year-old has a memory of being four and there being abuse in the home. I never abused her. She went to jail that day. No. She called the police and went to jail that day. Okay. No, what happened? I was pregnant. At the time, I was pregnant, okay? I shouldn't have done it. I think I threw a pillow. I did something. I could have stopped in the face. I did something. Then I turned my back to do whatever I was doing, playing on my phone. The next thing I know, I get a text from behind. He get on top of me, and he just start wobbing on me. And my four-year-old at the time saw that. He started pulling in my hair, punching me in my head, like, my four-year-old remembers that. I was getting out of the hole that she had me in. <laughs> this is so, so funny. I, she it happened no to be hole. on top I'm of laying, me while I'm asleep, no, waking me up, I'm talking about laying, who was this in your phone. I'm laying on the bed. He's on top of me. He's pulling my hair, punching me in my head. End of story. That same day. She jumped up, ran outside. And I called the, called police, the police. And the reason why I was in jail, jail because she, she had scratches. Because I was pulling his shirt, trying to pull him off me. That's the only reason I said, ask my four-year-old. They didn't want to ask him. They're like, no, he too young. She had my son, my son and my daughter jumped on me. First they thought of, I hit her. My son and my daughter jumped on me. They both, me. my son went to jail excuse for Excuse me, no, they excuse me. They called the police me. and my son went I to jail I didn't have nobody do nothing. We were in the room. We thought everybody was asleep. We was arguing. We had words. And my daughter, my oldest daughter said, such and such, come here, um, dad hitting mom. So he ran in there as we, because he knocked me in the closet. So 
when he knocked me in the closet, next no, thing I know, we I... we didn't lock you in. I didn't lock you in no closet. Yeah, you pushed me in the closet. I was had my back in your closet pulling your had, clothes he, up. He what had his back about? turns towards me. I was trying to protect my clothes, okay? You're not about to touch my clothes. So, so my you... son came in there, and next thing I know, attacked him. Next thing no, I know... No, my son and my daughter both attacked me. Well, I'm pulling but her I clothes out. But I had nothing to do with clothes. that. I never I said, hey, kids, come and attack dad. pulling my clothes out. And next thing I know, all I hear was my son and my daughter B, 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 B in my head. Hit me in my head. Bitch, so bitch, I'll, I'll say head. this. Knowing the pattern of children, especially the pattern of when children think that they need to protect a parent from abuse, usually kids make that irrational decision in the mm -hmm. moment to attack a parent because there's probably been a history of it. Yes, there's a lot. They see a lot what's going on so in the house. So you're admitting there has been a history of where they see this get violent, why they would come to you? But it don't, because they're protecting their mom. They love their mom. They know I'm the bigger person. I'm not abusive. It's yeah. not abuse. I'm, I'm just... But you do exhibit rage. Yes, I do. Okay. So, um, Nicole, I'm going to ask you first. What do you think I'll find when I unlock his phone? I don't know. Probably any and everything. Okay. Probably text, um, chat lines. Tank, you also asked us to unlock your wife's phone. What do you think we'll find in the phone? Nothing. Just messages from her ex-boyfriend. I wish. Mm -hmm. I wish. I wish. Messages from her ex-boyfriend. Okay. Wish. And if I find anything, I asked her this earlier, if I find anything in her phone, what does that mean to you? Is it a deal breaker? Are you done? I can't never leave this woman. He knows he's not going to find nothing. Mm. He was just being petty. He was playing tit for tat. That's mm. all he was doing. Okay. He said he'll never leave you even if well, he finds something. She's all I know. She's all you know. She's all I know. They need to act like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not your girlfriend, your wife. All right, well, let's start with Tank's wife, Nicole's phone first. <laughs> So, Tank, here it is. You asked me to unlock her phone. She handed over her phone, and we went yeah, through the phone for everything. Yeah, let's see this. Yeah, let's see. Please let me see this. Please let him see it. So we went through her apps, her text messages, her photos, and I her videos. <laughs> when it came through apps, we searched every app on her phone to see if there's any DMs, any suspicious messages, and we found zero. Period. Thank you. Thank you. When it came to text message, we searched for text message between her and any other man, or any text message I that could wish. be suspicious, I specifically wish. any text message between her and this first boyfriend from back in 1999. And right. we found zero Z messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I told you, I told you. When it Nothing. came to photos, we searched through her photos to see if there's any suspicious photos from, of her or of anyone else, if there were any photos in the cloud, anything that could have been deleted that could show us that there was anything sexual of nature. And we found zero photos. Told you. Now, when it came to videos, we also searched videos just to see if there was any videos that she had sent to anyone, talking to anyone, and anything suspicious nature. And when it came to videos, we found zero. Told you. Period. I told you. I All right, told so, well, you. now let's find out what the investigator found on Nicole's yes. husband's phone, yes. Tank. Yes. Tank, are you ready to reveal what I found on your phone? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, so when it came um, to Tank... My phone. my phone is clear. When it came to Tanks, we checked for texts, apps, photos, and GPS. Now, I got to say this first. Before handing over the phone to our investigator, Tank, you deleted so many items. Whoa. You're aware like of that. What? You're aware. He items know. Like what? He, he he know. He, you know what you did. Items like That's what? That's why you deleted it. You knew exactly mm -hmm. what you was doing. Items like what? Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So when it. it came to text messages, we were looking for anything salacious between you and anyone else. There was two text messages that we found. Now, the, these text messages were specifically actually between you two. And the reason I pulled this message up more than anything else because I thought it was interesting. This was you. I said, you told him, I told you I didn't want to have sex with you until I can trust you. Yes. You also then said, yep, I want a divorce. Can't have sex with someone so nasty. No trust. She, she's been telling you that she can't trust you for a while. This is important for me because we can find and dig up a lot of things. We'll talk about stuff. But when I see language between couples, that's important. She said she can't trust you. Tell me your point of view. All right. She can't trust me. I asked her, does she want to start right now? Can we start this right now, right here? How can we start over if Even there's still... Even afterwards, you just found something. You won't let go on and move on. Right, just I say, just yeah, found something on. in December, January, February. I just found something what and I continue to January find stuff. February. You on a chat line, looking at videos that you should be looking at. I was looking at videos, not on no chat line. Well, let's continue on. 
So from this, we looked in your apps and we searched through apps to see if we could find anything suspicious in behavior. We found two. It was eight Facebook and Instagram screenshots of different women that were on the different apps. Are you serious? On Facebook? And Instagram. Can I see that? All right, I don't got an Instagram account. I don't be on Instagram. I okay, we're going to continue on because there were screen grabs. So when it came to photos, we found 5,574. Are you serious? Are you serious? You really contact me this at home? Like, are you serious? I have to look through your phone? Photos, sexually explicit photos. Like, I'm done. I'm done huh? with him and other women? Yeah, so the most recent one we found is a woman in February. We, and, and so I printed this one. It's only because this is the last one of the February You really did this? was going to find out? I don't, Are I don't you serious? That. Okay, we my three member right now this, since you got well, this, this is just This is just the last one because it was February. And I want to be this clear year? about this. 2023. That's her. That's you. That's me. Okay, great. It's fine. It's fine. You better hear out the clear yet. And no, it's fine because we didn't want to go uh, again. Okay. This is the thing you have to understand. There were so many photos that we couldn't go through printing my those. My kids play on it too. My kids do. I don't a have woman, no wait a minute. What's the other your, photos? Your, your kids, oh, your kids play with your phone and have sexually explicit photos on your phone? Any photos, sex explicit photos you see there of her? Okay. I don't got no 5,000 sexual explicit photos. So the next thing is GPS. There was a Google Maps location that pinged at a Comfort Inn. This is May 15th. That's the one we always go to. I don't know. I, I can't remember. We don't yeah, okay. have sex that much. Right. Probably was me, but I can't remember. Okay, then. Okay, great. So listen, so we know for a fact that it's you're saying that crap. you've been to this hotel before. Yeah. But you're saying that May 15th, you can't be sure if that was you. Yeah, I can't be sure. That's the All right, only well, one you go to. So listen, you've asked us to unlock it. So this is the information you have. What do you need to say to your, um, your man? I don't know what we I, I don't know if I could still trust you or not. I don't know if I would be able if ever they to prove, trust you. If they prove today. But you had right they said now, you had a lot of people. If they had the zero photos anyway, you would still say the same thing. If they said you if had they a said lot that, of you still the apps. Say, We'll go home today, you'll still look at me like I, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You'll say that every day. Still. Okay, so if you. I can give you my advice, and this is gonna be real, is that you two grew apart a long time ago. You two grew apart and became two different people. Listen, the reason I'm not going to sit here and bash you as a man is because your children are at home. And if they're watching this at home, I want them to know that their father still has the opportunity to grow and be the man that they should want to look up to. I don't think... You understand? Think... So I want to make sure that's clear. I'm not about to sit here and bash you and tell you this and that. That's why my tone with you has been very clear, because at the end of the day, there are children involved in this relationship. You can be better as a parent and as a man without you two being in the situation. It's like... See, what's getting convoluted right now in the way that you two are co-parenting is because this relationship has grown apart, and instead of letting go, y'all are keeping it. the in yourself in this toxic cycle. Yes. And the problem I... for me, as y'all know right from day one, is that as much as I want to sit here and help y'all, and I would love for y'all to be together forever and say, oh my gosh, y'all were 16 high school sweethearts, please grow old together. If y'all grow old together, y'all gonna end up hurting each other. I don't even want to talk no more. I don't even want to talk. I'm leaving. Wow. wow. Okay, what so. Fine. So the question is now for you. The question is now for you. You've been journaling. You said you want to be better. Yeah. I see the rage and the hurt that comes out of you. I see the petty stuff y'all fighting over closets, but I also see the bigger stuff. Yeah. Your kids are going to jail over these things. Mm -hmm. So what are you about to do as a, a woman? What are you about to do as a mother? I'm going to... Tell him to leave and we can go our separate ways for my kids can see the positive within their mom and not always crying and hurt all the time. Thank you. Good job. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.